I don't know, but I'm excited today. Estoy muy animado because these verses, estos versículos, they're very, very encouraging verses. Son unos versículos muy, muy, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Nos, nos, va, nos va a animar. And it's really going to make you think. Te va a poner a pensar de verdad. It has made me think all week. Me ha puesto a pensar toda esta semana. So I'm really excited. Estoy muy animado en lo que vamos a oír or what we're going to hear today. Uh, go with me, please, to Philippians chapter 3. Filipenses capítulo 3, por favor. Philippians chapter 3. Filipenses capítulo 3. And we're going to go to verses 12 to 16. I really want you guys to hear this. Quiero que de verdad escuchen esto. Uh, verses 12 to 16, del 12 al 16. And uh, you know we've been in the book of Philippians. Hemos estado nosotros en el, en el libro de Filipenses. But this is a section, esta va a ser una sección, and I, I'm, I'm a, I mean, it's, it's going to be such a blessing, va a ser una gran bendición, and I really want you guys to, uh, just give me ne the next few minutes, los próximos minutos, Philippians chapter 3, Filipenses capítulo 3, uh, it's, uh, it's the book after Ephesians, and it's the book before Colossians. Okay, read with me, lea conmigo por favor, read with me, lea conmigo por favor. So whenever you are feeling discouraged, check this out. Whenever you're feeling discouraged or sluggish, cuando te, usted se siente desanimado o lento in your Christian walk, en su vida en caminar cristiana, I want to encourage you with these verses. Les quiero animar con estos versículos. And we're going to read Philippians chapter 3, Filipenses capítulo 3, verses 12 to 16, 12 al 16. And I'm going to read, dice aquí, uh, verse 12, versículo 12. Not as though I had already attained, this is Paul, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. I'm going to explain all that. No que lo haya alcanzado ya, ni que ya sea perfecto, sino que prosigo por ver si logro, si logro hacer aquello por lo cual fui también sido por Cristo Jesús. He said, brethren, now he's talking to the church. He's talking con hermanos, to the church. He said, brethren, hermanos, I count not myself to have, to, to have apprehended. In other words, I don't count myself perfect that I, I, I've made it in my Christian walk. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Hermanos, dice, yo mismo no pretendo haberlo ya alcanzado. En otras palabras, you know, yo ya no, ya, ya no alcancé la, la perfección o mi camino cristiano. No, no, no. Pero por una cosa hago, olvidando ciertamente lo que queda atrás y extendiéndome a lo que está adelante. He says, he says I press, verse 14, I press, he says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Él dice, yo prosigo, prosigo a la meta. El premio del supremo llamamiento de Dios en Cristo Jesús. Verse 15, versículo 15. He says, so let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. In other words, keep this in mind. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal and even unto this unto you. Así que todo lo que somos perfectos, esto mismo sintamos. Y si otra cosa sentís, esto también os lo revelará Dios. And in verse 16, versículo 16, Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Pero en aquello que hemos llegado, sigamos una misma regla, sintamos una misma cosa. I'm just going to pray real quick. Voy a orar bien rápido. Father, thank you. Gracias, Padre. Lord, give us ear to hear. Denos oídos para oír and open our hearts. Abra nuestro corazón. Father, I know this is going to show where we are at. Esto va a enseñar a dónde estamos nosotros. Are we still in the race? This race of life, this, this race of our Christian walk. Todavía estamos nosotros en esta carrera. En esta carrera, en nuestro camino cristiano. Or maybe some of us, Father, have not even begun the race. Tal vez nosotros no hemos comenzado esa carrera. But Father, I just pray that we open our hearts, abramos nuestros corazones, en el nombre de Cristo Jesús, in Jesus' name, amen. Have you ever, ever run a race? Well, I'm about to do one on the 22nd. ¿Alguna vez has corrido una carrera? I know one of our brothers, or alguno de nuestros hermanos, I think it's uh, Chelito, uh, Chelito, uh, uh, Brother Chelito, he's running a race right now. Le está corriendo una carrera ahorita. I think it's the Army race. 
uh, 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 And I, and I asked him, I said, man, you are losing some weight. He said, I'm not trying. Ha rebajado. And I'm like, wow. But it's because, you know, he's preparing, está preparando. He's been running. Ha estado corriendo. Running a good race requires focus, physical exertion, and perseverance. Okay? Correr una buena, buena, buena carrera requiere concentración, esfuerzo físico, y perseverancia. Running a race means you're in it for a long haul. Correr una carrera significa que estás en el, en el para, estás para el largo, corre, uh, largo recorrido. From start to finish, guys. Del principio a fin. And other, other things, you have to lay all distractions aside. Tienes que dejar todas esas distracciones al lado. And you remain focused on one thing. It focus solo en una cosa. Moving forward. <laughs> Moving forward. Te enfocas en una cosa. Y es es avanzar, avanzar, avanzar. And to do what? To finish the race. Para terminar la carrera. We need to finish. Necesitamos terminarlo. You don't look back. In a race, you don't look back. In una carrera, no mires para atrás. I'm going to show you something. Le voy a enseñar algo. I have, I have some illustrations. Tengo algunas ilustraciones. You don't turn around. Tú no, tú no te vas a dar la vuelta. And most important of all, y lo más importante de todo, don't quit. Don't quit. No te des por vencido. No te des por vencer. We are not quitters. Nosotros no somos aquellos que, que nosotros vamos a darnos por vencido. Oh, yeah. Life is tough. La vida es difícil. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's pain. Hay dolor. But it's also good, pero también es bueno. See, the Bible, the Bible compares the Christian life to a race. La Biblia compara la vida cristiana como una carrera. Now, there are different types of races. Hay diferentes tipos de carreras. And the Christian life is compared, and this is where we need to remember, it's compared to a marathon. La vida cristiana se compara como un maratón. Guys, it's not a hundred yard dash. No es una carrera de 100 yardas. Okay, I'm a Christian and, and, and for two weeks y por dos semanas, you know, I feel good, me siento bien. Everything's going good since I became a Christian. And, and then once it stops, you know, something happens, algo sucede, I'm done, I'm not a Christian, you know, you know, I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay. No, it's a marathon, es un maratón. And I'm going to tell you something, it's mostly, definitely not a walk in the park. Y tampoco definitivamente no es un paseo por el parque. It's a daily challenge which requires focus, effort, perseverance to overcome the obstacles in your way. Es un reto diario que requiere concentración, esfuerzo, perseverancia para superar los obstáculos que interponen en tu camino. Hey, Christian. Cristiano. If you want to put something in your mind today, quiere ponerte algo en tu mente, let me tell you something in case you forgot. Tal vez tú te olvidaste. But you are a long distance runner. You are a long distance runner. Eres un corredor de larga distancia. And that requires a strong forward focus to keep going. Y eso requiere un enfoque hacia adelante para seguir adelante. So Paul shares with us, Pablo uh, comparte con nosotros en this passage, en este pasaje, Paul's focus is not what lies rather than what, it, uh, what, what is what lies ahead, not what is behind. Paul's focus is on what lies ahead rather than what is behind. El enfoque de Pablo está en lo que está por adelante, no lo que está detrás. In fact, he strains towards what is ahead. Además, él, está, él hace el esfuerzo por lo que está por adelante. 
He presses on toward. He presses toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called them in Christ Jesus. Avanza hacia la meta para ganar el premio para el cual Dios le haya, le haya llamado en Cristo Jesús. Another thing, Christian, otra cosa, cristiano. This is for the Christian, para el cristiano. You cannot be passive. You cannot be passive in your Christian life. Usted no puede ser pasivo en su vida cristiana. You need to keep forward focused so that you will be motivated to persevere and keep growing in Christ. Usted necesita estar enfo enfocado adelante y hacia adelante para que esté motivado y perseverar seguir creciendo en Cristo. You need to press toward. Necesita seguir adelante. God has a goal for you. Él tiene una meta para ti. And he has it for you. Lo tiene para ti. And Paul shares with us. Y Pablo comparte con nosotros. He has, he has three points, tres puntos. I have three things, three ways you can do that. Tres maneras que usted lo puede hacer. We're going to go right through them. Lo vamos a hacer esta, esta mañana. And I want, I want to share this. Yo quiero compartir esto con usted esta mañana. And number one, número uno. Number one, if you want to write this down, si usted lo quiere escribir, or you can just remember, usted lo puede recordar. Number one, you need to understand this. Usted tiene que entender esto. You have to understand this now. Lo tiene que entender ahorita. Forget about yesterday, guys. Guys, you know what? Forget about yesterday. You can't do nothing about yesterday or those days. You can't do nothing anymore. Usted no puede hacer nada de las cosas de ayer o los días pasados. You can't. But you can do something today and prepare for tomorrow. Puede ser algo hoy y preparar para mañana. So number one, number one, I want you to remember this. Quiero que usted recuerde esto. Number one, make God's goals your goals. Haz que las metas de Dios sean tus metas. Verse 12, versículo 12. I'm going to go right back to verse 12, versículo 12, 12 perdón. He says, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after. I follow after if that may apprehend that for which I also have apprehended of Christ Jesus. No lo que, no, no que lo haya alcanzado, dice, si, ni, si, ni que ya sea perfecto, sino que prosigo por ver si logro hacer aquello por lo cual fui también asido por Cristo Jesús. If you're going to press towards, if you're going to press on toward the goal that God has for you, you must first make God's goals your own. Si vas a seguir adelante hacia la meta que Dios tiene para ti, primero debes hacer las metas de que Dios te ha dado. And there's two things. Quiero ver dos cosas. I want, to, I want to see two things there. Quiero ver dos cosas ahí. Okay? There's two things, dos cosas. Number one, be honest. Be honest. Be honest about where you are in your Christian walk. Take, take, take a few seconds. Just, just take a few seconds. Be honest where you are in your Christian walk. Sé honesto acerca de donde te encuentras en tu camino cristiano. Just take a second. Where am I? Notice Paul's honesty here. We just read. Fíjate la honestidad de Pablo. Paul doesn't claim that he is perfect. He doesn't claim that. Pablo no afirma que es perfecto. No, he still realizes he's still on the journey. And that he still has a long way to go. Si usted se da cuenta aquí, él todavía no está en el camino, no ha llegado a la perfección, y todavía le hace falta un largo camino por correr. And he shares that with the Philippians. Él está compartiendo esto con los filipenses. You see, what happens is, lo que sucede es esto. Too often, we think that I am the only Christian. Oh, oh pastor, I'm the only Christian struggling with my Christian life. Es que lo que sucede a veces es que, es que pastor, con demasiada frecuencia pensamos que yo soy, es que yo pienso que yo soy el único cristiano que lucha con mi vida cristiana. We look around all the people, vemos a todas las personas, we look at them, and we look at them on Sunday, lo vemos el domingo, and we think that everything that is under control for them. Y pensamos que todo está en control para ellos. 
Look at that family. Mira esa familia. Man, look at that young guy. Mira ese joven. Man, they look like they got everything under control. Todo está en control. Man, look at them, man. They, they, you know, they're always cheesing. And they siempre están ellos con sonriendo. And they look like they have everything. And then we say to ourselves, we say to ourselves, nos decimos nosotros mismos, you know what? No, no. I can never share my struggle with them. Because, you know what? No, no, no. They're not going to understand. ¿Y sabes lo que nos decimos nosotros mismos? Nunca podía compartir. No, no, no. Yo no puedo compartir mi lucha con ellos. Es que ellos no van a entender. But I'm here to tell you this morning. Pero yo estoy aquí para decirle esta mañana. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, si tú puedes. You can because we're all struggling. We're all struggling with one thing or another. Todos aquí estamos luchando. Um, question, who here is perfect? Can you raise your hand? I, I just, I'm just wondering. ¿Quién aquí es perfecto? Oh, they're called, you know, oh, you're called perfect, so se llama perfecto. Is anybody here called perfect? Hay un nombre que se llama perfecto. Is anybody perfect? Because if you are, si es perfecto, I would like to give this to you, and you come out, usted venga, and I want to sit down, because I need to hear from you, need to hear de usted. Because let me tell you something, I'm one, I, I, I am not perfect. Yo no soy perfect. No one here, aquí nadie es perfect. Just as much as you're struggling, I'm struggling as well. Yo también estoy luchando. Every single day, todos los días, I, I struggle here. Yo, 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 yo lucho aquí. I struggle with life, con la vida. We're all in this. Todos estamos juntos. And that is Paul's point. Ese es el punto de Pablo. He says, be honest. He said, be honest about where you are in your Christian walk. And that will help other people be honest too. Pablo dice, sea honesto. Sea honesto acerca de dónde te, te, te encuentras en tu camino cristiano. Y eso ayudará a otras personas a ser honesta. Number two, número dos, in the same session, esta sección. He says, number two, align your goals with God's goals for your life. Alinea tus metas con las metas de Dios para tu vida. This is the second part of verse 12. Esta es la segunda parte del versículo 12. God grabbed hold of Paul because he had a purpose for Paul's life. Lo que sucedió aquí es que Dios agarró a Pablo porque tenía un propósito para la vida de Pablo. And if you are a Christian, si tú eres un cristiano, God, then God grabbed a hold of you. Dios también se ha apoderado de ti. Because he has a purpose for your life. Él tiene un propósito para tu vida. Go with me please to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Efesios capítulo 2 versos 10. Just go, this is the only verse we're going to go to. Es el único versículo que vamos a ir hoy día. Ephesians chapter 2 please. Efesios capítulo 2. Ephesians 2.10. Efesios 2.10. In case you forgot or in case you maybe don't, you know, let me tell you something. God has a purpose for your life. Dios tiene un propósito para ti. Oh, yes. We live, guys, we live with purpose. Nosotros vivimos con propósito. And he has one for you. Él tiene un propósito para ti. Look at Ephesians 2.10. Mira Ephesians 2.10. He says, for we are his workmanship, created on Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before, before ordained. That we should walk in them. Actually, so that means that he has something for you right before. He, he's, he's been, he's had something for you. He's had, he has something for you. Porque somos hechuras suya, creados en Cristo Jesús para buenas obras. Las cuales Dios preparó de antemano para que anduviésemos en ella. God has a purpose for you. Dios tiene un propósito para ti. Guys, say this. Can you say this? God has a purpose for me. En español, por favor, Dios tiene un propósito para mí. 
But to fulfill that purpose, but to fulfill that purpose, pero para cumplir ese propósito, you need to grab hold of that for which God grabbed hold of you. Pero usted necesita aferrarse a aquello por lo que Dios también te agarró a ti. And you can only do that. Guys, this is no secret. Este no es un secreto. You can only do that by spending time with him in his word and in prayer. La única manera que tú lo puedes hacer es pasando tiempo con Él en su palabra en oración. Walk close with God. Camine cerca con Él. And He will lead you. Él te va a guiar where you're supposed to go, donde tú tienes que ir. That's the first step. Ese es el primer paso. Make God's go your own. Haz que las metas de Dios sean tuyas. Number two, número dos. In verses 13 and 14, versículos 13 y 14, he, he tells us, hey guys, always keep a forward Focus. Él nos dice en versículos 3 y 14, mantén siempre un enfoque hacia adelante. Hacia adelante. Keep a forward focus, he says. Keep a forward focus. What do we mean by that? ¿Qué queremos ver con esto? You can't run well looking backwards. You can't run well looking backwards. Usted no puede correr bien mirando hacia atrás. Who drives like this? You can't drive forward looking in the in rear view mirror. Usted no puede conducir hacia adelante mirando por el espejo, uh, el espejo retrovisor. If you keep looking back, how can you drive forward? ¿Cómo usted puede ver adelante si usted está mirando el espejo de aquí, de atrás, para atrás? You can't. No puedes. If you're going to press forward, guys, the goal God has for you, he has, you have to go look forward to press on for the goal God has for you. Tú tienes que seguir adelante hacia la meta que Dios tiene para ti. So how do you do that? That's a good question. ¿Cómo haces eso? I have three things. Tengo tres cosas para ti. Because that's, the, that's a problem we have. Es un problema que nosotros tenemos. You know, we got to continue. I'm sorry, guys, but tomorrow is, uh, what's today's date? The 8th? Tomorrow's not the 7th. Tomorrow's not October 7th. Mañana no va a ser 7 de octubre. Tomorrow is October 9th. Mañana es el 9 de octubre. It's not going backwards. No está yendo para atrás. You're not getting younger. Usted no se está poniendo más joven. You're getting older. Usted se está poniendo mayor. I'm sorry, but tomorrow, whatever you have planned, lo que está plan, it's going to happen. Va a suceder. So you, you, we need to, you know what? So number one, número uno, for us to keep focused para enfocarnos, let me tell you something here. Number one, número uno, get rid of all distractions. Get rid of all distractions. Deshacerse de todas las distracciones. I'm sure Paul had so many things going on in his life. And yet he was able to focus all his energies in one direction and say one thing. He said one thing. If you look here in verse 13a, uh, uh, verse 13, versículo 13. And on, uh, if you see here in, in Philippians, Philippenses 13. He says, but this one thing, one, just one. He says, but this one thing I do. Y él dice, pero una cosa hago, una. He says, I, and yet he was able to focus all his energy in one direction, say one thing, one thing I do. Pudo enfocar todas sus energías en una dirección y decir, una cosa, una cosa hago. He got rid of all the distractions and kept his focus on Christ. Se deshizo de todas las distracciones y mantuvo su enfoque en Cristo. Now, this is not for me. Esto no es para mí. And this is, I'm preaching here. <laughs> Let me tell you. The question here, la pregunta es esta. Es, how many things do you do? <laughs> Una pregunta para ustedes. ¿Cuántas cosas haces tú? In other words, how many hats do you wear in a typical day? ¿Cuántas, so, ¿Cuántos sombreros usas en un, en un, en un día típico? 
I'm a dad, I'm a, I'm a dad, I'm a uncle, I'm a father, I'm a pastor, I'm a brother, I'm a... ¿Cuál? Soy, soy esposo, soy papá, soy tío, soy, soy hermano, soy, soy pastor, soy hermano en Cristo. I mean, who? Abuelo. Oh, yeah, I forgot that one. Soy abuelo, I'm a grandpa. Thank you for reminding me. Gracias por recordarme. I mean, how many things, cuántas cosas. If you're like most of us, si, si eres como la mayoría de nosotros, you probably do a lot of things and get pulled in a lot of directions each day. Si, si, eres, si, eres como, si nosotros somos como somos así, todos iguales, probablemente hacemos muchas cosas diferentes y, tienes, y te sientes atraído en muchas direcciones de, de, durante todo el día. It's hard. It's hard to keep your focus. When there are so many things to do, especially now, hay tantas cosas cosas que hacer. Es difícil mantener la concentración cuando hay tantas cosas. And now, I haven't even mentioned the phone. <laughs> Yo ni he mencionado el teléfono. I mean, I mean, so many things, tantas cosas. But you can't run a good race when you're distracted from the goal. Pero no puedes correr una buena carrera si estás distraído en la meta. Now, much of what we do is good and necessary. Mucho de lo que hacemos es bueno y necesario. But there are many things, I don't know if you agree with me, but there are many things in our lives that we know are just distractions. Muchas cosas son necesarias, muchas cosas son buenas, pero hay muchas cosas en nuestra vida que sabemos que son solo distracciones. They're not necessary, no son necesarios. And in some cases, they are harmful to us and to others. Y muchas veces no son necesarios y algunos casos son perjudiciales y para nosotros y para los demás. So what am I saying this, more, this, this afternoon? ¿Qué estoy diciendo esta, esta, esta tarde? We need to get rid of the distractions. Tenemos que deshacernos de las distracciones. We need to do all the things to God's glory so that we have one goal in life that keeps us on track. Necesitamos hacer todas las cosas para la gloria de Dios, para que tengamos una meta en la vida que nos mantiene en el buen camino. During our busy schedules, durante nuestras agendas ocupadas, we need to be able to say with, like what Paul said. Tenemos que decir lo que Pablo dice. One thing I do, una cosa hago. Number one, get rid of all distractions. De, tiene que deshacerte de todas las distracciones. Number two, número dos, Guys, forget what is behind. Forget what is behind and reach toward what is ahead of you. Why are we still looking back? Why are we still looking at that? Why are we still thinking of those things behind us and looking back behind? Why? ¿Por qué nosotros seguimos mirando atrás? ¿Por qué nos, por qué nos olvidamos de atrás y por qué no tratar de alcanzar lo que está adelante? When you are in a race, and yes, we are in a race. Cuando estamos en una carrera, y si estamos en una carrera, guys, this is a Christian walk. Es un camino, es un camino cristiano. We're in this race. Estamos en este, this race of life. Esta vida de, 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 de vida. The last thing, the last thing you want to do is look back. Lo último que quieres hacer es mirar atrás. That's the last thing that, I, that you want to do. Remember I told you I was going to tell you something. Le quiero decir algo. There's a statue here. Hay una imagen aquí en la pantalla. There's, look at this picture on the screen. For young people, hey, you know, look forward, mire adelante. For us, para nosotros también, ya no mirar atrás. Let's stop looking back. Let's start looking forward. Miremos adelante. Look at this picture on the screen. Mira, este, mira esta imagen en la pantalla. It's a bronze sculpture commemorating the race between John Landy and Roger Bannister during the 1954 British Games in Vancouver. 
Se trata de una escultura de bronce que, come, que con, conmemorara, que, perdón, conmemora la carrera entre John Landy y Roger Bannister durante los Juegos Británicos de 1954 en Vancouver. The race was known as the Miracle Mile. La carrera es conocida como la Mía Milagrosa. Because, ¿por qué? Because it was the first race in history to feature two runners who had both run the mile in under four minutes. Se llama la, la Mía Milagrosa, ¿por qué? Porque fue la primera carrera en la historia en la que se participaron, participaron dos corredores que habían corrido la mía en menos de cuatro minutos. Now, Landy, Landy held the world record. Landy tenía el récord mundial. And he was, winning, he was winning, and he was winning this race when he made one, one critical mistake. Y Landy tenía el récord mundial y estaba ganando esta carrera cuando cometió un error crítico, pero crítico. You know what it was? You know what he did? ¿Sabe lo que hizo? He looked back. Miró para atrás. He looked back. Miró para atrás. He looked back over his shoulder to check Bannister's position. Miró para atrás por encima del hombro, de su hombro para comprobar la posición de Bannister. And as he looked back over his shoulder, On the left, Bannister surged by him on the right, winning the race by 0.8 seconds. Y mientras miraba por encima, el, el hombre a la izquierda, Bannister, lo pasó por la derecha ganando la carrera por 0.8 segundos. This statue was sculpted from a photograph taken Of that moment. Esta estatua fue, fue esculpida a partir de una fotografía tomada del momento. And after the sculpture was made, Landy said something. Y después que, y después que se hizo la escultura, Landy, el que perdió, the one who lost, he said this. Él dijo esto. He said, wow. While Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt for looking back, I am probably the only one ever turned into bronze for looking back. Y él dijo, mientras que la esposa de Lot se convirtió en una estatua de sal por mirar hacia atrás, yo soy probablemente el único que se convirtió en bronce por mirar hacia atrás. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, now guys, I'm going to get serious. Yo me voy a poner muy serio. Do you ever, do you ever look back in such a way that keeps you from moving forward in your Christian life? ¿Alguna vez miras hacia atrás de tal manera que te impide avanzar en tu vida cristiana? Because let me tell you something. Déjame decirle algo. Some people look back at their past successes. Algunas personas miran atrás a sus éxitos pasados. They look at all their achievements. Miran todos sus logros. Instead of serving God in the present, you know what they do? They take comfort in how they have served Him in the past. En lugar, de, en lugar de servir a Dios en el presente, ¿saben lo que están haciendo? Se consuelan con la forma en que lo han servido en el pasado. You know how many times I hear, cuánto yo veo eso. Oh, yes, pastor, let me tell you something. Let me say, like, oh, I used to be a Sunday school teacher. I used to, I used to do this. I say, What are you doing now? Es que, pastor, yo hacía esto, yo hacía aquello. Oh, yo tomé esto, yo tomé, yo tengo un certificado aquí. Ok, está bien, gracias. Pero, ¿qué está haciendo ahorita? Stop looking at the past. Deja de mirar atrás. Oh, and let me say something too. You can say otra cosa también. Because this touched my heart. Esto me tocó a mí. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you something. I need, I need to get some things straight for myself. Yo necesito también hacer unas cosas por mí. Churches? Churches. I'm talking about churches in general. Las iglesias. We're a church. Nosotros somos una iglesia. Churches? 
can be good at this too. Las iglesias pueden ser también muy buenas en esto también. You see, we can sit around, we can sit around talking about all the good old days. Oh yeah, remember pastor how we discipled all these people? Remember pastor how we used to go outreaching? Remember pastor how we used to baptize? Them? Remember, oh yeah, I remember. O se acuerda pastor como nosotros hacíamos aquello, los discipulados, nosotros hacíamos, alcanzamos gente, íbamos a dar pan, como hacíamos todo esto. Oh sí, I saw the video, yo lo vi en video. Oh, we can, we can be, oh yeah, yo me acuerdo, oh, praise the Lord, 10 years ago, hace 10 años. No, 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 what are we doing now? ¿Y qué estamos haciendo ahora? I'm ashamed to say, yo tengo un poquito de vergüenza decir, who's being discipled now? ¿Quién está siendo discipulado? Maybe a handful, tal vez unos cinco, or less, or menos. If God used the past, si el Señor ha usado el pasado, that's great, gracias a Dios. But realize that God still has work for us to do in the present. Pero Dios todavía tiene trabajo para nosotros hacer en el presente. So guys, whatever you're thinking, lo que usted está pensando, but, and this doesn't have to be church, no solo iglesia, anything, cualquier cosa. Well, but, you know, my, my grades were good uh, last year. I don't care about last year. Mis grados estaban bien el año pasado, and... I'm talking about this year, este año. Well, you know what? I've changed a few things. We're living today. Estamos viviendo hoy. I'm sorry, but we can't do it. The past is the past. El pasado es el pasado. Now, here's another thing. Aquí hay otra cosa. Other people have the opposite problem. Otra persona tienen el, un problema opuesto. Instead of looking at their past success, they focus on their Failures. Hay otra persona en lugar de mirar sus éxitos pasados, se enfoca en sus fracasos. This, this, is what they, this is what some of us say. We nosotros decimos, well, we fail God. I fail God in the past, so, you know, I feel that God cannot use me past in the present. Come on. You have anything else? Es que, pastor, yo fallé al Señor y, 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 y como yo fallé al Señor, yo no creo que yo pueda uh, usar, él no, me, él no me puede usar en el presente. ¿De verdad? If that is you, si ese eres tú, let me encourage you today, déme animarte hoy día. If you are in Christ, if you are in Christ, I want you to know something. God has forgiven you. Did you hear me? If you are in Christ, God has forgiven you. Déjeme si le voy esta tarde algo. Si tú estás en Cristo, ¿sabes qué? Dios te ha perdonado. You may not have forgiven yourself, but God has forgiven you. Tal vez tú no te has perdonado, pero Dios te ha perdonado. Second, segundo, I want you to know, yo quiero que tú sepas, God still has work for you. Dios todavía tiene trabajo para ti. Let me, let, me, let me explain to you the God that we serve. Let me explicarle el Dios que nosotros servimos. He is the God of second chances. Él es Dios de segundas oportunidades. He's God of third, fourth, fifth, Six chances. Él es un Dios de segunda, tercera, cuarta, quinta, sexta oportunidades. And he will never, 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 never give up on you. Y él nunca, nunca, nunca se va a rendir. Sabe ser vencido de contigo. In fact, he often uses your past failures to help you minister in the present. A veces él a menudo usa tus fracasos del pasado. Para ayudarte a ministrar en el presente. If you keep looking backward, you will never go forward. Si sigues mirando hacia atrás, nunca avanzarás. As Christians, we need to forget what is behind and reach, reach. I'm talking about reach towards what's ahead. Como cristianos, tenemos que olvidarnos de lo que está detrás y extender la mano a lo que está adelante. You know that word reach? Esa palabra Alcanzar, it means to exert yourself. 
It means exert yourself, exert yourself to the uttermost. Significa esforzarse a lo máximo. I mean, just, you're, you're, just, you're just trying to go forward. That's what it means. This effort, there's effort involved in the Christian life, guys. Hay un esfuerzo involucrado en la vida cristiana. Who's, who said that the Christian life was easy? ¿Y quién dijo que esta vida cristiana? Who said that this Christian race, esta carrera iba a ser fácil? Who told you that? ¿Quién te dijo esto? Do you know how hard it is to forgive someone who, who sometimes is so mean to you? Gente que son tan mala contigo y, y tú tienes que perdonarles. You know how hard it is for me to keep my mouth. What? Do you think, oh, Pastor, oh, Pastor, you don't curse, right? No, I don't. I don't curse, but you think I feel like it? Yeah, yo, yo no digo malas palabras, pero usted no cree que yo no, no me quiere que salir. Hmm. Boy, I'm like, hmm. I want you. It's right here. Aquí está. It's right in the tip. Aquí está. What, you think I'm not human? You don't soy humano? You think sometimes I just don't want to knock somebody out? Usted quiere que yo no, you know, no, pastor, es que usted, usted, you, 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 you're very, <laughs> you don't think sometimes I just want to, <clears throat> out, see you. Of course I do. You don't think I get hurt? A mí no me duelen? When they talk, when hablan de ti? Of course I do. You, you don't think sometimes, you know, you, 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 oh, well, you know, pastor, we always have to be last, right? No, sometimes I want to be first. You want to say, but no, it's all these things, todas estas cosas. Love your enemies. Amar a tus enemigos. You know, love those who curse you. I mean, it's hard, it's difícil. Well, you, you, don't, you don't think we have emotions, no tenemos emociones. You don't think we have, I mean, God made us, Dios nos hizo, but we have to, re, uh, how you say, refrain. Tenemos que refrenar. We have, you know, we have to be led by the Holy Spirit. Tenemos que ser guiados por el Espíritu Santo, but I, I, we struggle, nosotros luchamos. It's hard, it's, it's, it's difícil. People are always looking at you, te están viendo, the first bad thing you do, lo primero que hacen, uh-huh, oh yeah, I see you, Christian. You think I don't hear that? You don't oigo eso todo el tiempo? I mean, you're always being watched, and if you, and if you do something, say, oh, there they go. They start talking. You, you don't think we, we go through that. Todo pasamos por eso. There's effort. There's effort involved in the Christian life. You know, we, we, we have a testimony. Nosotros tenemos un testimonio. People know us by our works. La gente nos conoce por nuestras obras. You know that, you know, some people don't know Christ. Algunos no conocen a Cristo. And they only know Christ through us. Solo conocen a Cristo por nosotros. The way we act, la manera que nosotros actuamos. The way we speak, la manera que nosotros hablamos. The way we do things, la cosa que nosotros... People are watching. La gente está viendo. They want, they want to, is there a difference? Hay una diferencia? There's effort. I, 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 I esfuerzo. You're saved by grace. Eres salvo por gracia. But that doesn't mean that there's no work for you to do. Pero no significa que no haya trabajo de que hacer. Faith is not a decision you make in the past that has no effect on your life today. La fe no es una cosa, una decisión que tomaste en el pasado y que no tiene ningún efecto en tu vida hoy. Faith is something that you need to work out every day. La fe es algo que tú necesitas trabajar con todos los días. And then number three, press toward the mark. Press toward the goal for the prize. Presiona hacia la marca, la meta para el premio. In other words, keep your eyes on the goal. Mantén tus ojos en la meta. Focus on the finish line. Centrarse en la línea de meta. Remember what the race is all about. Acuérdese de qué se trata la carrera. Keep your eyes on the prize. Guys, keep your eyes on the prize. No pierdas de vista el premio. What happens in a race as you get closer to the finish line? Here you go. ¿Qué sucede en una carrera a medida que te acercas a la línea de meta? What happens? Anybody? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, today I feel like interacting. What happens? I don't, know what it, I don't know what it feels like to be in a 10 miles. I don't do it. You know, I go 10 miles. Not running, no correr. I use a bike. Yo uso una bicicleta. Or a car, un carro. Or a motorcycle, una moto. But does anybody run here? I can correr aquí. Mark, you run, right? 
five miles, como cinco millas, right, Mark? Okay, anybody else run? No, no, currently. If you run a few miles, Caitlin runs. So when you run, cuando uno corre, I run, but maybe a mile, a mile and a half, una, una media, media. But when you run, what happens when the finish line, aquí está la línea, do you just, I mean, what happens? Do you go faster? Oh, you're supposed to go faster. What else? You run faster? You, or you slow down? But, I mean, but I mean, you don't want to slow down, right? Because you're trying to get, okay? But uno de veces, you know, okay. So what happens when you, when you, when you get to the finish line? ¿Qué sucede cuando está llegando a la línea de meta? This is what you're not supposed to do. Esto es lo que tú no debes de hacer. You don't slow down. No disminuyes la velocidad. You speed up. Aceleras. Because the end is in sight. Porque el final está a la vista. And you're running a race. Estás corriendo una carrera. And the prize is before you. Y ahí está el premio delante de ti. So you get rid of all the distractions. Deshace todas las distracciones. Forget what is behind. Don't look back. If you look back, si miras atrás, that's it. Boom, they're going to pass you. And reach toward what's ahead y alcanzar lo que está delante. And then we're finishing up. Estamos terminando. This is the last point, el último. Don't lose ground. Don't lose ground in your walk with Christ. No pierdas terreno en tu caminar con Cristo. What do we mean by this? ¿Qué queremos decir con, con esto? Verse, uh, verses 15 to 16, 15 to 16. All, number one, all mature believers will share the same attitude. Todos los creyentes maduros compartirán esta misma actitud. What attitude are you talking about, Pastor? ¿Qué actitud? That mature believers know that they aren't perfect, but they also know that they are making progress in their Christian growth. ¿Y qué es eso? ¿Qué actitud? Que los creyentes maduros saben que no son perfectos, pero también sabemos que, está, que estamos un progresando en el crecimiento cristiano. And then number two, number two, continue following what have we have already obtained. Remember that word attained? Continuar con lo que ya hemos logrado. He says, he finally closes with an exhortation to maintain your progress in the faith. Y él concluye con una exhortación a mantener un, su progreso en la fe. The only thing sadder, the only thing sadder the not moving forward in your Christian life is to go backwards. La única, lo único cosa más triste en la vida cristiana es no avanzar en tu vida cristiana es retroceder. Guys, here, aquí, we're all on different levels in our Christian growth. Todos estamos en un nivel diferente en nuestra vida cristiana. We're all on different levels. But each of us should be at our farthest point Along in our, in, our, in our walk with the Lord. Pero cada uno de nosotros debemos estar en nuestro punto más avanzado en nuestro caminar con el Señor. I'm closing here. Estoy cerrando aquí. If you could just give me, we're, we're, guys, here you go. We're almost done. Ya estamos cerrando. Do not, don't, don't, don't look, don't look, don't say, oh, oh, stop. No, no. Just give me, we're going to finish this strong. Vamos a terminar esto bien, bien fuerte. The Christian life is a race. Right? La vida cristiana es una carrera. And there are only three reasons you're not in the race today. Y hay solo hay tres razones por las que no estás en la carrera. There's only three reasons why you're not in this race. Y hay tres razones por qué no estás en esta carrera. Number one is because you've never started. Número uno, nunca se ha empezado esta carrera. Number two, you stop running. Dos, usted ha dejado de correr. Or number three, you're finished. O tres, has terminado. You have finished the race of life. Has terminado la carrera de la vida. But if you're still here, guys, go like this. Okay, that means you're still alive, you're still here, okay. 
Thank you, gracias. If you're still here, si usted todavía está aquí, then you haven't finished. Usted no ha terminado. So there is no number three. No hay número tres para usted. So we can only take one out. Solo podemos sacar uno. And that's number three, número tres. So, entonces, if you're not in the race, that means that you've never started or that you have stopped. Entonces, solo son dos. Usted nunca ha comenzado la carrera o usted ha dejado de correr. ¿Cuál de los dos? Which one? Let me tell you this. If you've never started, then let me invite you today to begin the race. Y si usted nunca ha comenzado esta carrera, déjeme invitarle a comenzar la carrera de hoy. Pastor, what are you talking about? ¿De qué está comenzando? I'm talking about this race of eternal life. Esta vida de, de vida eterna. Esta carrera. Let me share with you. Jesus died for your sin. So that you would not have to. Jesucristo murió por tus pecados. Para que tú no tuvieras que hacerlo. His forgiveness, guys, is immediate. Su perdón es inmediato. It is free. Y es gratis. And it's sweet. Y es dulce. Will you trust Jesus? Will you trust Jesus today? Confiarás en Jesús hoy día. Will you trust Him as your Savior and begin the race today? Confiarás en Jesús como tu Salvador hoy día y comienzas la carrera hoy. Trust me, guys. You will never look back. Y créeme, nunca mirarás atrás. Or maybe... You did start the race. Hold up. Maybe you did start the race. O tal vez usted sí ha comenzado la carrera. You started a long time ago. Hace mucho tiempo. I started the race at the age of 24. Yo comencé a la edad de 24. I gave my life to Christ. Yo comencé mi vida con Cristo. And my walk began. Y comenzó mi caminar. With Christ, con Cristo. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you algo. But somewhere along the way, you have stopped running. Pero en algún momento del camino dejaste de correr. Perhaps you stumbled and fell. Tal vez tropezaste y caíste. Or maybe you just got tired. Tal vez tú ya te cansaste. And decided to take a break. Y has decidido tomar un descanso. Well, let me tell you something. Déjeme decirle algo hoy día. If you're sitting on the sidelines, si tú estás sentado en el margen, it's time to get back in the race. Es tiempo de volver a la carrera. There's a Savior to serve and a prize to be won. Hay un Salvador a quien servir y un premio que ganar. So let's finish the race. Terminemos esa carrera and win the prize y ganar el premio. Brother Luis, I, I, he's still in the race. El sigue todavía. He's still in the race. Hermano, ven, come here, ven. I want to show you one athlete, un atlético aquí. Brother Luis. He's still in the race. He's, he's, él sigue todavía en la carrera. Go ahead, my man. And he... And he'll be anyone. He'll be like, I, 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 Naila wants to, nobody, nobody will still follow, will catch up to him. His, hermana Rosa finished the race strong. Y hermana Rosa terminó esa carrera fuerte. And now she's, yeah, she has a crown. She has a crown. So guys, like I said, como digo, Oh, y ha sido fácil esa carrera. Has it been hard? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I thought, yeah. Oh, I know it's, it's, it's hard. Ha sido fuerte. But he's still in the race. Sigue en la carrera. Thank you, hermano Luis. Let's stand. Pongamos de pie, por favor.
Father, thank you. Gracias, Señor. Father, thank you because, thank you, Lord, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Gracias por nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Father, help us to continue this race. Ayúdanos a continuar en esta carrera, Señor. Father, if there's someone here, si hay alguien aquí, that has not, has not begun hit the race, que no ha comenzado la carrera, Guys, with your eyes closed, con sus, con sus ojos cerrados, please, this is a private moment, es un tiempo privado. Please, please don't open. Please, if you can just, you know, uh, bajar su rostro, you can just put your head down. But if there, is there anyone here, hay alguien aquí, that says, you know, Pastor, I've never begun the race. Yo nunca he comenzado esta carrera. And I would like to begin the race. Me gustaría comenzar esta carrera. I would like to give my life to Christ. Le quiero dar mi vida a Cristo. I, I repent. I am a sinner. Yo soy a pecador. And I repent of my sins. Yo me arrepiento de mis pecados. And Lord, I, and, and you would just love to give your life to Christ. Is there anyone here? Hay alguien aquí. Is there anyone here? Hay alguien aquí. That just says, I just want to give my life to Christ. Yo quiero dar mi vida a Cristo. I've never done it. Yo nunca lo he hecho. I've never done it. Nunca lo he hecho. But I would like to give my life to Christ. I believe, yo, yo creo that He is my Savior, que Él es mi Salvador. I believe that He, he will forgive me my sins. Él va, a perdon, él va a perdonar mis pecados. And I repent, yo me arrepiento con toda fe, with all faith, I repent of my sins. Is there anyone here? Hay alguien aquí. Anyone. Well then today, hoy día, let me encourage you. If you probably just stumbled, tal vez se ha caído, or maybe you stopped, usted ha parado. Let's get back in the race. Regresemos a esta carrera. Let's get back. Regresemos. Let's get back on this race. Hey guys, it's not time to slow down. No es tiempo ahorita de ser, oh, hold on, let me, there's, no, no, no. It's time to get back in. Es tiempo de regresar a la carrera. And guys, don't look back. No mira atrás. What's done in the back, lo que se ha hecho atrás, you cannot change, no puede cambiar. But, Let's live in the present. Vivamos en el presente. Thank you, Father. Gracias, Señor. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Gracias, Señor, por tu palabra de, de ánimo. And may we just continue to have our eyes on you. Que nosotros podamos tener, continuar a tener nuestros ojos en ti, Señor. For your honor and glory, para tu honor y gloria. Y su pueblo dice, and the church says, Amen. Amen. All right. We are dismissed. Come on.